Hello, this is Gary Nelson with Alden American Shocks. Today on the 68 Mustang, we are going to replace the rear coilover shocks on the rear four link suspension. And on the front, we're gonna do a coilover conversion on the Mustang II suspension. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do on our installation is we're gonna measure the at ride height length of the shocks so that we can determine the correct length shocks for the car. Our at ride height measurement from bolt center to bolt center is 13 and three quarters. So what we're gonna do is come over here in our catalog and the last column is the at ride height measurement. And so we come down here and we see that between 13 and a half and 14 inches, and that means that it's gonna be an AS655. Okay, this shock has the half inch sleeves installed. We're gonna install the uh, 5 8 sleeves because this car has 5 8 bolts on the shocks. We've already installed the thrust bearings on this shock. The thrust bearings reduce the friction when you're adjusting the spring height and this is what the bearings look like. We offer the thrust bearings as an option. It's ALD 26 and we've already installed it on our shock. Before we install our shocks, this is the rebound adjustment knob. So when the adjustment knob is in the full counterclockwise position, it is at the full soft position. When you rotate it clockwise, it will stiffen or make the shock more firm. We're now gonna torque the bolts to 50 foot-pounds. On the Mustang II front ends, there's been a lot of different manufacturers that have made Mustang II front ends, and a lot of them have got their own little twist on open and closed lengths on the shocks. So we always recommend that you measure the shocks before ordering them. In this case, the open length of this shock is 12 inches. This is our Mustang II front shock, and on this front shock, we measure from the center of the loop on the bottom to where the bushing touches the frame on the top, and that is the measurement points from here to here. On our Mustang II style shock, this is our rebound adjuster. So as you rotate the adjuster, counterclockwise is softer, clockwise is firmer. Now, when you go to take this apart so that you can get the bushings and the, the nuts off, you're gonna loosen this, you're gonna loosen the hex, and both pieces will unscrew. Today we're gonna to use this ball joint spreader tool, and the concept is expands, and it'll pop the ball joint loose without having to hammer on it or use a pickle fork that could potentially damage the ball joint or the uh, boot. Now that we've removed all of our old components, we're now gonna put the new shocks in. On some of the uh, Mustang II tubular A-arms that have the stock spring pocket like this, they will have to be trimmed in order to have clearance for the shock. 